Bible Story Time, and today we will learn about Philip and the Ethiopian. And we'll learn a little bit about Philip first, and then we will answer the question, what did Philip tell the man in the chariot? So, do you remember from last time that the disciples needed a few more helpers to help them with the distribution of, say it with me, food, clothes, and shelter? And so there were seven men that they um, had helping them, and one of them died in our last story. It was kind of sad. Do you remember his name? Stephen, yes. One of his friends was named Philip, and Philip was a man who also taught about Jesus, and he helped the people with the food and the clothes and the shelter. And God told him one day, that you need to go on the road to Gaza. And Gaza was a long ways away and it was in the desert. And so he was walking and walking and walking and he saw up ahead that there was a man in a chariot. And God told him, you need to go faster so that you can go and talk to this man. And so he came up and then talked to the man. And the man in there, was from a place called Ethiopia. And Ethiopia was in Africa. Do you remember when we talked about the stories about Joseph and how he was in Egypt? So it's below Egypt and a little bit to the right. And so that was where he lived. And the person he was um, working for was the queen. And she believed in Jesus and so he wanted to check out more about Jesus and so he went to Jerusalem and he got a scroll and that's how they had the Bible back then do you remember what those were kind of like a roll of paper towels that keeps unrolling or you can have two of them together and they're connected and there's a roll on each side and so they wrote on there and that was their Bible and so he had the book of Isaiah and he was reading from Isaiah, and Philip asked him, do you understand what you're reading? And he said, no, how can I do that if nobody is explaining it to me? And so then Philip got in the chariot with the man from Ethiopia. They're a little close on here, but in real life, um, the man from Ethiopia may have had a driver. We don't know for sure. And... So then they talked about Jesus as they went along and he learned what that part in Isaiah meant because he was reading the part where it says like a lamb goes to the shearers, the person who cuts off the wool, silently without talking. So the son of man willingly went to his death also. Oh, so he was really confused. Isaiah was talking about. Was he talking about himself? Was he talking about someone else? Philip went back to the Old Testament and explained a lot of things about how that the Old Testament was predicting when Jesus would be around. And it predicts his death and his resurrection in addition to um, his birth and much of his life. And so it told a lot about that in the Old Testament. And so that's what Philip was doing. And Philip was telling him all about Jesus. And the Holy Spirit was working in his heart. And now he believed about Jesus. And as they were traveling, they kept traveling, and they finally came to some water. So let's see if we can get this off and keep the water on and a little bit of land over there. So when you get close to water, water usually has a little bit of um, green area around there. And so when they got here, he wanted to be baptized. So Philip and the man from Ethiopia got in the water and Philip baptized him. Do you remember how from the baptism of Jesus, what the words were? You can say them with me if you remember. I baptize you in the name of the Father and he would dunk him under the water in the name of the Son, and he would go under the water again, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, and he would go in the water again. That was so amazing. The man 
was baptized. And then when they got up out of the water, God took Philip away and the man from Ethiopia went back to his chariot and he went back to his country, Ethiopia, and he told many, many people about Jesus because Philip helped him understand. Such an amazing story. Let's review. Let's go back to the beginning. Do you remember what this guy's name was? His name was Philip. And Philip was friends with the people person from our last story and what was his name yes Stephen and so they both were helping out with the food and the clothes and the shelter right and they also told people about you got it Jesus they told about Jesus and they were really good about doing that while they were doing those other things and so God told him one day he needed to go on the road to Gaza and Gaza is a place that is in Africa also and so there was a man who was riding in a chariot and this is kind of what a chariot looks like a chariot could be a little bit bigger also and maybe had a driver but this is the flannel graph piece I have so we'll use this one so this is the chariot and he was riding in the chariot and he was reading from the book of Isaiah and so um, when he was reading, he was having a hard time understanding it. And so God told Philip that he needed to go a little faster. And so he went a little faster. And then he talked to the man in the chariot. And he said, do you understand what you are reading? And he said, no, how can I understand unless somebody explains it to me? And so Philip got into the chariot and he talked with the man from Ethiopia and told him about how the Old Testament predicted Jesus life and also his death on the cross and how he rose from the dead and he did all that because he loves us and he took our sins away so awesome that Jesus did all that and so when they came near some water the man from Ethiopia is like oh, can I be baptized and Philip said, yes. And so they both got in the water and he baptized him. Philip baptized him in the name of the, say it with me, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So cool. The Holy Spirit worked that faith in his heart and he believes in Jesus. When they got out of the water, God took Philip away so that the man from Ethiopia could go back to Ethiopia and tell more people about Jesus. How exciting. That is so awesome. So now we need to answer the question. And the question today is, what did Philip tell the man in the chariot? Ooh, do you remember? What do you think? First of all, they talked about Isaiah, right? What was in Isaiah? And then about the Old Testament of the Bible. And how it predicted that who was gonna be born? Yep, Jesus and that Jesus was going to be born. And so he got to Jesus and he told him all about Jesus and how he lived for us and he loved us so much. And he, yep, died on the cross. And then on Easter Sunday, he rose. He told so many people about Jesus because he wants everybody to go to heaven. And so do we, and so does Philip. So that's what Philip told the man about Isaiah and the Old Testament and then about Jesus. And then it was time for the man from Ethiopia to be baptized. Yes, are you baptized? It is so cool to be baptized. If you haven't been baptized, it's okay. But you can talk to your mom and dad and see if your church allows that. Our church does. So if you are looking to get baptized, 
um, and your parents need a church to do that at, please talk to Pastor Karen. He would love to baptize you. And when you get baptized, then that Holy Spirit is working even more in your heart. And the Holy Spirit helps you to tell about Jesus. And so that is so important. We'll talk more about that in the next lesson. Let's um, end that part with a prayer, and then we'll go on to the Bible lesson um, activity. Dear Lord, thank you for helping Philip to tell the man from Ethiopia about you. Please help us to tell others about you also so that more and more people can go to heaven to be with you. Amen. And so our Bible story for today has an activity that looks like, it has two activities actually. You can review the Bible story on this page. And then this, these are kind of like little puzzle game pages and they are very fun. And so what you have to do is look very carefully at this chariot. Look, this chariot, he has a driver, right? See, that's what I thought. See, some people think he had a driver, some people don't. So I think it would be easier for him to be reading Isaiah if he had a driver, right? Okay, so anyway, you want to look very carefully at this chariot and find the one that's exactly the same down here. So maybe you want to look up at the roof part first. Maybe it was shading him. Looks like all the roof parts look pretty close to the same. What about the lines going down? Ooh, this one has wavy lines. So can this one be it? No. Nope. If you want to, you can put an X on the one that are, it's not. Then you want to look more at the other parts of the chariot and at the wheels and see if you can find the one in here that is exactly the same. And you can put your name up here right above that line. And you're good to go with that. Then on this page, you want to put your name at the top. And you're going to connect the numbers and the letters to make words. And so each one is separate here. You don't connect them all. And then it'll give you a message, okay? And then down here, you get to do this word search to find these words. Glad, Jesus, and tell. And... If you get done with those and want another challenge, you can find these other words right down here because you want to tell people about Jesus so that they can all be glad and go to, you got it, heaven. So these are the two papers for this lesson. And the Bible verse for today is, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It's kind of long, but the end part is really familiar. So let's say it one more time. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That's found in Matthew 28, verse 8, 19.